Hi guys, I have a review on Bodellium tools for you guys and this was actually sent to me via Octali. I will have my friend referral link for Octali and also a link to Bodellium which is not a referral link. So um, this is their five piece brush set and this is the Green Bamboo series. Um, this is worth $27 for five brushes so I don't think it's that that bad if you kind of divide out how much it is per brush so I think it's very economical I like the fact that it came in like a little tube um, this is a little plastic tube but I think it would be really like handy for traveling just because you know it's not gonna bend or get damaged or if it does you're not gonna like worry about it as much because it's just like plastic so um, they say that they're professional eco-friendly makeup brushes they're all vegan soft synthetic bristles 100% cruelty free and um, they are bamboo handle so it comes with a crease a shadow an angled contour a liner brow brush and a smoky eyeliner brush so I'm going to go through each one of the brushes with you guys and kind of tell you guys what I think of them. And then at the end, I'm going to also have a short little eye tutorial for you guys to kind of see them in action as well, which is actually what I have on my eyes today. So first up is the 781B and that is the uh, crease brush. This crease brush is really, really good for packing on product. Uh, this isn't more of a fluffy one for blending out. This is more for packing out. You can blend, and I did end up using this a lot to blend out the creases you will see in the tutorial, but I feel like this is really, really good, especially for packing on color. Um, if you are looking for more of a softer application, you might want a fluffier crease brush, but this one is really, really good for um, packing on that color on the crease and, and then blending it out. Um, I really like the fact that these are really, really soft and they're really sturdy. I feel like the handles, like they have a weight to them. Uh, so they're not like flimsy. They're really, really strong and sturdy. And they each have the name and the number on them as well. The next brush is the Shadow, which is the 777. And this is just a regular flat topped, um, kind of like flat brush. I really like this, especially for applying color all over the lid. This kind of brush is really good about packing eyeshadow like that. And I really enjoy this one. Um, as well as the next one that we're going to talk about, which is the Angled Contour. And this is the 769. I feel like this is a good all over brush. You will see in the tutorial, I use it to, um, kind of just put shadow all over to set my primer and then also to really blend out as well and even for underneath the eye um the eyebrow as well to put that highlight in i think that not only this is good for the eyes i think this would also be really good for like chiseling out your cheeks just because of the shape of it as well so really really like this and even i feel like i well, really would like this for a nose contour as well and i think down the line i think that's what i'm mainly going to use this for Next up is the Liner Brow, which is the 760, and look how tiny this little sucker is. I really, really like it, especially since I have really small eyes. I use this for eyeliner today, and it was really easy to do just because of how tiny and how control, um, how much control you have over it. And I think likewise, you would really like this as well for your eyebrows if you really want to be really precise with them as well. And last is the Smoky Eyeliner. So this is more of a pencil kind of eye brush. And this is actually what I use to smoke out my um, lower lash line today. Really nice. I think this is the softest pencil brush that I've ever <laughs> tried, ever. And I've tried quite a few, even from MAC to all kinds of different brushes. And I feel like this is the softest one I've ever tried. I've never tried anything as soft to go underneath here. And this one is just super 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 soft I absolutely love the um, softness of these brushes they're really really nice they're not prickly or you know I can't stand when brushes are prickly against your skin I feel like these are super super soft another cool thing that I really liked about them is that they're really short handles so they're really good for traveling as well so I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the tutorial you guys can see them in action I'm starting out with the Modern Renaissance palette and I'm going to go ahead and take the 769, the flat brush, and I'm going to apply tempera all over the lid. I'm just kind of giving myself a blank canvas and also setting my primer in place with this brush. Next, I'm going to be taking the crease brush, which is the 781, and I'm going to be taking that gold shade that you see right there. It's called Golden Ochre, and I'm going to apply this all over the crease from side to side. 
and really just blend that in. And I'm going to do this on both sides and then just kind of build up the color until the intensity that I really want it to be. Okay, and then the next shade, oh, okay, and I'm just blending. <laughs> okay, so then the next shade that I'm going to be taking is a burnt orange, which is that orangey shade that I'm going to show right now. And then I just kind of wanted to make this a really warm look, so I'm taking that shade right there, which I'm showing, and applying that to the outer crease and also to the outer, like, uh, probably like the other outer half of the lid as well just really blending it. As you can see, this brush really packs on color, so you have to be a little cautious with darker colors. It's good when you have like lighter shades because you really want it. Sometimes it's better to pack them on from the get-go, but with darker shades, you might want to be a little bit cautious. And then I'm taking that flat one, that 769, just going in and really blending out those edges and just blending those shades together before adding on anything else as well. Next thing that I'm going to do is just add a little bit more burnt orange and just kind of get the intensity that I want and just go back and forth, um, kind of just playing around, getting the intensity that I like. Then I'm going to be taking Primavera with the flat brush, which is the 777, and I'm applying this all over the lid. This is basically my eyelid color and then kind of blending it out with the edges of the burnt orange as well. So then I take a little bit of the burnt orange and really just focus on where they connect and really blend them out together. And likewise on the other eye. And as you can see, I just keep, <laughs> I keep staring in the mirror when I check and see because I don't want the color to lose its intensity. So then I went back in and added a little bit more of the Primavera gold color. Then to add a little bit of darkness, I'm going in with Cypress Umber, which is that dark brown and really just blending that onto the edges um, just to kind of add a little bit more of darkness and make it more of a smoky eye. Especially since this set is the smoky eye set, I kind of wanted it to be kind of a subtle natural smoky eye. So not necessarily just because it's a smoky eye set you have to go with like a black smoky eye. You could also do a natural smoky eye as well. So I'm just going back and forth just really blending in those shades together, adding a little bit of burnt orange to that edge oh, again just to kind of really make it pop a little bit more and also using the 769 to blend. And as you can see it takes a lot of blending. A lot of times in my videos I do cut off a, a lot of this extra footage just so that you guys don't get bored. And then I'm going to take tempera and use that for my under eye um, eyebrow highlight and go ahead and just blend, blend, blend. And as you can see, I go back in and just really blend out those shades. And I'd love to hear from you guys. Do you guys want me to show every little bit of footage or would you guys just prefer me to edit them out? Next, I'm taking the pencil brush, which is the 716. And I'm going in with Re Regalar, which is that dark burnt orange, which is absolutely beautiful. And applying that to my lower lash line. And I really love this brush. It's just super, super soft. I feel like I never found a brush this soft for that lower lash line. And just really blending it, that out. And then to the outer half, I added a little bit of the Cypress Umber just to kind of little smoke it and darken that outer edge as well. Then last, I'm going to be taking the 760 brush and e applying, <laughs> applying a little bit of... Uh, gel eyeliner to the top of my lids because I'm going to be adding lashes and that is basically a little demo using all of the brushes and then I just added eyeliner and lashes to the look itself so I hope you guys really enjoy this look So I'd love to hear back from you guys. Have you ever tried these brushes? What are your thoughts? Which are your favorite? I'd love to hear back from you guys. Thank you guys as always for watching, for subscribing. I love you guys to death. And if you're not subscribed, definitely hit that little red button. Be part of my little YouTube family. I love you guys. And until next time, bye guys.